all knowledge of Spider-Man No Way Home is completely gone, completely vanished from your mind. So before we jump right into the hypnosis, any thoughts on hypnosis? What do you think going into it? Do you think it'll work? Are you excited, scared, nervous, all the above? Well, I'm cautiously optimistic that I will forget uh, and, and everything will go according to plan. But the thing is that I've watched this movie so many times. Like, they know. I've, like, for the past two years. Yeah, how I'm many just, times like, have you seen this movie? Just to, like, I've seen this movie in theaters nine times. Um, but I've watched it outside of theaters in my house. How many like, times have you watched the trailer? The trailer? Oh my gosh. When the first trailer came out, I watched it. Like, probably over a hundred times within the first couple of days, easily. Like, yeah, that was the most anticipated trailer. We were waiting for that for over a year and a half. Yeah. So once it came out, oof, yeah, that was insane. All right. <sighs> yeah. So, without further ado, let's do this. Jump into the hypnosis process. All right, here we go. So what I'll have you do is I'll have you, actually, put your just uh, hand on my hand. There we go. I want you just to look at the back of the hand right there. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. That's right. Just let yourself focus on the sound of my voice. Tune out any distractions, any noises. Just let yourself completely focus on me. And know that this process is one that you can allow yourself to fully immerse yourself in. And the more you immerse yourself in, the better this experience will be for you through the whole process. Deep breath in. Breathe out. That's right. Now I want you to imagine that this hand becomes like a lever. The lower I put this hand, the more you let yourself relax. The higher I get it, the less you relax. That's right. But as this hand goes lower, you feel yourself relaxing more and more. That's right. A little bit less relaxed, but now relax even more. That's right. And in a moment, you're going to hear me say the word sleep. And when I do, you're not going to go to sleep or fall asleep. You're just going to let yourself get as relaxed as you possibly can as if you were asleep. I want you to begin to press down on that hand. Press down on that hand. Really press down. Breathe in hard. That's right. Press down on that hand. As if you're pressing the energy that you're about to put into yourself going into this relaxing trance, relaxing state. Press down harder and harder. As soon as that hand drops, as soon as I hear the word sleep, you just let yourself go all the way down. Sleep. Loose, limp, relax. Let it go. Sleep all the way. That's right. When you hear me say the word sleep, you just let yourself drop right back into this sleep-like state of relaxation, concentration, and focus. That's right. What you'll find is that in this state, any belief, any suggestion, any idea instanta instantaneously and immediately becomes your experience of reality. Sleep all the way down. Sleep even deeper, even further. Sleep. That's right. And what you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, Matt, you become completely stuck to the couch that you are sitting on. Completely stuck to where you are sitting. The harder you try to get up, the more you find you are completely stuck to where you are sitting. The more you try, the more you cannot get up. You're completely stuck to the couch next time you open your eyes, Matt. And any time I say the word sleep, you let yourself go right back to this hypnotized state, even deeper every time I say that word sleep. Go ahead and let yourself, one, two, three, awake, eyes open, feeling good, sitting up. You notice how quickly you let yourself just drop into that relaxed state? Mm -hmm. Right, feeling good. But notice what happens. If I ask you to try to stand up, notice that feeling that you created for yourself there. <laughs> like, really, like, really try. You can try to push yourself off the couch if you can, but notice that feeling of, of, just, oh. of heaviness, of stuckness, right? And you notice that, oh, now you can get up, right? But now watch, sit back down, and you find you're twice as heavy now. That feeling of stuckness has just intensified even more. Now you try to get up even more stuck right now, right? Pretty crazy how the more you try to get up, the harder you try to get up, the more stuck. In fact, the more you try, the more it makes you stuck. You cannot get up. You're completely stuck. Right? Try one more time and just sleep all the way down. That's right. Letting go. Sleep. Just like you sleep. Relaxing all the way down. Loosen and relax. Next time you open your eyes, no longer stuck, no longer feeling heavy in that way. But what you'll find is that just as you were stuck to the couch earlier before, what you'll find is that you've completely forgotten your own first name. The more you try to remember that name, the more you completely forget it. The more you try to say it, the more it's just stuck on the tip of your tongue, stuck in the back of your mind. Your name is stuck in the back of your mind and you cannot remember it. No matter how hard you try, you cannot remember your name. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three. Awake, eyes open, feeling good. What do you think of that experience of feeling stuck a moment ago? That was intense. <laughs> was intense. That does not obey the laws of physics. Right? And you're really trying to, put, to push yourself up and you're feeling, and you fought through it initially, but notice when it intensified, you were so stuck, you couldn't even get it, right? Yeah. But notice, speaking of being stuck, hey, your name is... <laughs> you know, you know your, your name, like I'm introducing myself, I'm Zach, you are... What? 
What? Wait. What is your name? Your name is what? Watch. I uh, imagine that you still forget that name, but as soon as I tap you on the back of the head, it comes right back. Now, and now you know your name. It's Matt. It's Matt. Just like that. But just as quickly as you can have that name come back, imagine we take that name in your mind. We just wipe it, erase that name back, and now it's gone. You try to think your name. Your name was. Even though you just said it a moment ago. In fact, Matt, what was your name? Matt? Because I just said it, right? Yeah. And now you know for sure your name is... <laughs> Comes back now, that name is... Matt. There you go. <laughs> what? Pretty cool experience. All right, Matt. Go ahead and look right at the center of this hand for me. Just sleep all the way back down. Sleep, letting go, just drop it in an amazing state of relaxation. Even deeper, even further. Take all that amazing relaxation, tap you on the shoulder, you double that relaxation. Now, sleep even deeper, even further, all the way down, Matt. That's right. And what you find is that next time you open your eyes, anytime you hear me say the word hypnosis, the word hypnosis has suddenly become the funniest word you've ever heard in your life. The more I say it, the funnier it gets. The more you hear me say hypnosis when your eyes are open, the more that you laugh, the more it's just absolutely hilarious. For some reason, next time you open your eyes, the word hypnosis is the funniest thing you've ever heard in your life. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three. Awake, eyes open. Feeling good? All right. What was that experience like for getting your name? I can't, I can't really describe it. Like, it was like, it was, it was there, but it wasn't, right? And when you try to think of it, what would normally be there just wasn't. Yeah, yeah. It literally felt like you just like took, and my knowledge of my name and just like completely like, took it out of me. Right which you will explore a little bit more further down the road through this process, but that's part of what hypnosis is like, right? Yeah. That's the idea of hypnosis being a fun state, that the things you experience in hypnosis <laughs> begin to become your experience in reality, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the fun of hypnosis. Right? <laughs> yeah. You've never done hypnosis before, right? uh, I've never done it. No. What do you think so far? Cool process, hypnosis. <laughs> it's fun, it's fun, yeah. yeah. yeah right? Trippy. <laughs> well, trippy in hypnosis, yeah, right? Cool. Pretty neat, pretty neat. That's right. Just let yourself sleep all the way back down, that amazing state of relaxation, focus, sleep, Matt, that's right, all the way back down. Next time you open your eyes, everything is now returned back to normal in every single way. Word hypnosis no longer hilarious. Everything is now completely normal, completely fine in every single way. Now, what you'll find is that the next time you open your eyes, any time that I snap my fingers, make that sound, I become completely invisible. I literally disappear from your mind, and you cannot physically see me when I snap my fingers. When I snap again, I reappear, and you can see me once more, as you always have been able to. But when I snap my fingers next time you open your eyes, I literally vanish from your eyes. I become completely invisible. You cannot see me. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three. Awake, eyes open, feeling good. All right. Now, again, the thing with hypnosis before, right? You're having this experience of even just thinking that word was kind of amusing, kind of funny, even though you know it's just an ordinary word. But check this out. Watch, you can see me sitting right next to you here. But watch, mm -hmm. as soon as I do this, one, two, three. What, what, what were you experiencing? Could you see me the whole time or was something different happening? The way your mind was processing what was going on? Yeah, it's like you snapped in place. Right, but watch, you can now see me, but watch, all I have to do is one, two, three, just like this. Like this. <laughs> what? Dude, this is like some Doctor Strange shit. <laughs> Literally some Doctor Strange shenanigans. You see me here, one, two, three. <laughs> Pretty cool experience, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, now, here's the thing. I know you're a pretty big fan of the Spider-Man movies, right? Have, have, you, have you met... Tom or Andrew or Toby before? I met Tom. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You never met Andrew or Toby before? No? I've never met Andrew or Toby, but one day. One day. If you, if if you could pick one of them was going to walk in the room right now, who'd you be more excited to meet, Andrew or Toby? I know both, obviously, but Andrew. Andrew, yeah, pretty excited yeah. to meet meet Andrew Garfield. Go and let yourself just sleep all the way back down in amazing state of relaxation and focus. That's right, focus inside of my voice. All that relaxation, double it now, even deeper, even further. 
Next time you open your eyes, ask and you shall receive. Next time you open your eyes, I have now become Andrew Garfield. I look like, I sound like. I am Andrew Garfield. Zach is now gone. The hypnotist is no longer here. But in his place, in my place, I am Andrew Garfield. In your mind, you see me exactly as how Andrew Garfield would look. I sound exactly as Andrew Garfield would sound. And in your mind, complete and total conviction that I have now become Andrew Garfield sitting next to you on this couch, Pat. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake. How you doing, man? Good. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I heard you're a big fan. Yeah. Well, wanted to come out as sort of a surprise for this video. You, you seem kind of surprised. Was this a surprise? Did we get you? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you could ask me anything. What do you want to know? Um... I'm doing great, man. You know, uh, you know your, your friends reached out that it would be kind of a fun surprise to have me kind of pop in as a video. You thought you were doing something else, but, but you know, here I am now. So how are you? Good. <laughs> doing good, yeah. Fun experience, yeah. Now, you've seen Spider-Man No Way. Oh, I've seen Spider-Man, yeah. What, what, was, what was your reaction when you first saw me on screen in that movie? It was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Bliss. <laughs> Bliss. Tears, oh, tears of joy. That makes me so happy. And that's, that's you know, why I'm an actor, as I love bringing that kind of joy to people. And I have to, I have to know. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good of a job lying do you think I did to try to keep that? You're the best Spider-Man. You're the best Spider-Man. The best Spider-Man? Yeah. I mean, Toby and Tom both just bring so much, like, just iconicness to the character. Really, I think the best You're the best Spider-Man. By far. By far? Yeah. Man, that means so much. Well, and what would you think if we did maybe like Amazing Spider-Man three? What any style would be? It? You need more Spider-Man movies. Yeah, yeah. What, well, who's the, who's the villain? What's the plot? What what what, what do we do that movie? If we if we if we were to like pitch that together to Hollywood to make that movie, how do we convince um, them it needs to happen? Venom. Venom. Yeah. You versus Tom Hardy. Oh, like a still combining kind of those multiverse. Like we know he wasn't in the MCU anymore, but then yeah. he's. I like that idea. Yeah. I like that. And you know what I think would really convince them to really like greenlight this movie? What? Is I think if you were in it. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Would you be up for being in Amazing Spider Man 3? Man, uh, this is going to be so exciting. Fans are going to lose their mind when they hear this. And he's stopping. It needs to happen. I'll play yeah. Harry Osborne. Harry Osborne? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we had Harry. Mm -hmm. Recast. Yeah. <laughs> Recast Harry. <laughs> Forget about making it happen. Man, so great to meet you. My goodness, sleep all the way back down in the basin state of relaxation, letting go. Just sleep even deeper, even further. Sleep all the way down there. That's right. Sleep. That's right. Now, next time you open your eyes, I'm no longer Andrew Garfield. Everything is now completely back to normal in every single way. Everything is as it would be. Feeling good, relaxing even deeper, even further now. But Matt, we're going to try something really special now. Just as you forgot your name earlier in this video, I want you to allow your mind to take that same experience and take every single thing relating to Spider-Man No Way Home completely out of your mind. Everything that happened. I know you've seen that movie so many times, the trailer so many times, but all knowledge of that movie fades away. It's stuck. It's gone. In fact, when you think of Spider-Man No Way Home, your mind just draws blanks. Your mind is completely empty. In fact, you don't even remember the title of No Way Home. Everything about that movie, everybody who was in it, all of the heroes, all of the villains, all of the moments, every single moment from the movie, from the trailer, is just gone now from your mind. You completely forget it. In fact, if you were to see any part of that movie, any part of that trailer, it would be as if you were seeing it for the very first time, because any memory, any recollection of what happened is completely empty, completely gone in your mind. It's like you've created this deja vu experience. It might seem vaguely familiar, but you'll recognize that it's not. Sort of like imagining the difference between reality and a dream. Everything that you might think you know about Spider-Man No Way Home never happened. It's as if it was just a dream. All of your knowledge, everything that you know about Spider-Man No Way Home, completely gone, completely empty, completely vanished from your mind. And if you were to see anything, 
any information, any pictures, any footage, a trailer, any moments from that movie, it would be as if you saw it for the very first time. Because all knowledge of Spider-Man No Way Home is completely gone, completely vanished from your mind. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake Matt, feeling great. All right, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. You know, met Andrew Garfield earlier or something? Like, what was going on with that? <laughs> Andrew? I love Andrew. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool, right? Yeah. He's now, what, what did you think of, of Spider-Man Far From Home? Far From Home? Honestly, kind of disappointed. Disappointed? Um, yeah. I thought it was a, a good Spider-Man movie, um, but, like, the ending was the best part. Well, the ending, they left it open to, like, see where they go from there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Peter's secret identity is revealed. Yeah, and where do you think they're going to go from there? Um, and, like, what do you think is possible? I think for the next one, it should start off, like, fast. Um, probably Craven the Hunter. Oh, Craven could be cool. Yeah, that could be a fun Because now, one. since Peter's identity is revealed to the world, um... I think it would be smart to have Craven go after Peter since he's a hunter and he's a contracted killer. Yeah. That's how the comics go. And then Aunt May dies in the like crossfire. And what do you think? I know they used Far From Home already for the last movie, but what do you think like I know the name hasn't been announced for the new movie, what do you think would be a good uh, like if you were if you were naming this fight, I know I know they sort of teased it a little bit. Spider Man Spider Man Home we'll say home run. Well, they had homecoming, right? Far from home. You gotta keep the home. You gotta keep the home. Spider Man home run. Home run, because he's running. Yeah, From like, yeah, everyone going to come after him. Well, I don't know if you realize this, but as as we were filming, they literally announced the title to the third Spider Man movie on Twitter, literally like ten minutes ago, as we as we were filming this. And this is like, oh here, live 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 reaction. You ready for the title of the third Spider Man movie? Yeah. Go. You were right. They did incorporate home into it. Home. Spider-Man, No Way Home. No Way Home. No Way Home. What do you think? First thoughts? No Way Home is the, the name of the new Spider-Man movie. Yeah, like so he's like running from away from home. He has no home. Home Run maybe would have been better, you think? Or you think No yeah. Way Home? Home, home Run. <laughs> Spider-Man Home Run would have been, been nice. Run, yeah. Um, yeah, No Way Home makes, still makes sense though. Like, yeah, he has No, no, no Way Home. Because like everyone knows who he is. Oh, oh true. Yeah, that can be interesting. Here's the thing. So I know they literally just announced the title, mm -hmm. but they actually dropped the teaser too. Actually, actually, yeah. Here. You wanna, do you want to watch the teaser? Like live, live reaction. Here, let me. I, I want to pull. Let me, let me pull it up for you so that you don't like get get spoiled by anything. Cause, okay. cause I, I, I saw a little bit of it, but I want to make sure that you see everything that happens for the first time here, like in in the video. It's gonna be so exciting. So, Spider so Spider Man No Way Home, picking up right after the events of Far From Home. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Live reaction. Live reaction. I mean, I'm even just gonna show you show you just the the, the, the thumbnail. See the thumbnail? This. That's a new suit. <laughs> it is a new suit. I hope I hope you're ready to watch it. Watch this trailer. Oh, hold on, man. YouTube classic classic YouTube ads here with the ads play. You got ten seconds of ad play to get oh ready my for God. this new trailer. Spider Man No Way Home live reaction. Here we go. A a any thoughts? Five seconds as the ads play before we jump into this I'm trailer. Sorry, what, what, are you, what are you expecting I'm so to see in this trailer? trailer? Um, um, I don't know. Just new footage. New footage. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's go. Spider Man No Way Home. Official trailer. I'll let you do the honors. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh <laughs> that was not Craven. <laughs> so Craven was in there? That was not Craven. Wait, 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 who was in there? Just two seconds in the trailer. Whoa. You're <laughs> rhyming ro ro it already. Two seconds in. Dr. Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange is in this movie. He's not the only doctor in this movie. So that's go ahead, go ahead and show the camera what, what, what we're looking at right here. Who who is officially in this movie? It's 
That's Alfred Molina. Alfred Molina is Doc Ock. He's in the new Spider-Man movie. Dude, we're two seconds into this trailer I, and we're already I losing. I dude. love, you know, you don't understand. The Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies raised me as a kid. Oh my god. Alright, let's see what happens. This is Spider Man No Way Home. That's literally about to be the biggest movie of all time. Wow. That's literally about to be the biggest movie of all time. So, first thoughts, you just saw the trailer. What do you think about this movie? They're bringing back my childhood. I can see you were, you were tearing up a little bit. You were getting a little emotional during that trailer. I, yeah, just seeing Alfred Molina come back, Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin, Electro, like, I grew up loving those characters, like, so much. Uh, I never thought I would see them come back. Wow. Here they are. <laughs> In a new Spider-Man movie. <laughs> what? I was thinking Kraven! Nah! Bring back Willem Dafoe, Kraven. Doc Ock. Sandman, Lizard, Electro. Now, now I'll tell you what. If they bring back the villain from Spider-Man No Way Home. No, actually, if Toby and Andrew are in this movie. Do you think they would be in this movie or do you think they would just bring back? I mean, there's no way they bring back the villains and not Toby and Andrew. It's the multiverse. Okay. Maybe. No way. No, it's just total confidence that they're going to show up in this movie. They got to. I mean, both Toby and Andrew are both coming on social media and clearly said they're not in this movie. Yeah. Like, straight up, they're like, we're not in this movie. I don't really get my hopes up, but like, I feel like it has to happen. It has to happen. Yeah. What, what would that, like, if you had to imagine that scene of like, when they showed up in that movie yeah. what would that like hearing the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man music the Andrew Garfield like the Andrew Garfield theme just seeing them on screen again I mean they've they've gotten older so 
I'm sure they would look older. Yeah, yeah true. You think that would even, like, how would they even work if they were in the movie together? I don't think like, it's know. Tom's, Tom's movie, right? Like, would that be kind of overshadowing Tom Holland if they showed up? Like, No, because Tom, Tom's Spider-Man has been so, I guess, just like, I don't know, he hasn't really felt like Spider-Man, but I feel like they can teach him the principles. Oh, they can teach him? Of what it means to be a great Spider-Man. Like, like, like a mentor. Because they went through a lot. They did, yeah. You know. Andrew lost... Whole movies, Andrew think. literally lost everyone. Yeah. Including Gwen. That was bad. Yeah, that, that would be kind of cool. There's one more There's one more clip I want to show you, though. They had this trailer that, that, was, that was dropped. But there's one final, like, uh, clip from... From the movie here that just oh man this is this, this is gonna be from the movie well yeah it's like a sneak a, a t- like a teaser bit from like like chunk of preview like that trailer was obviously editing clips in the movie but this was like an unedited like clip right, so I'm ready. from the movie I'm ready. i hope you're ready for this this is one of the biggest movies of all time actually all of all time yeah think it'll do okay at the box office um i mean uh we're still like going through the pandemic and recovering from that, but I think like everything good. It's about the biggest movie of all time. Yeah. All right. So we're about to show you this unreleased. It was literally just released just now. A moment from this movie. Okay. I'm ready. Are you ready to see this? Here we go. I'm ready. All right. Doctor Strange Portal. Ned. Yeah. Do that again. Yeah. I just wish we could see him. Does Ned do magic? Okay. I just wish we could see Peter. Trying to trying to zoom in like. A... Stop. Thing on his hand. 
Find Peter Parker. Find Peter Parker. Great, it's just some random guy. Um, <gasps> what? That's who we were. I'm gonna be in here too. <laughs> Wait, he's, he's not your friend. <laughs> so you're Spider-Man too, why didn't you just say that? I generally don't go around Advertising it kind of defeats the whole anonymous superhero thing. Ikaw ha, nagkalat ka na naman. Linisin mo lahat ng mga basura mo dito. At ikaw, alam mo na, gusto ko itong bahay natin. Maayos, pero tingnan mo. Tumi dito. Tumi dito. My mother was asking if you could clean up the web she just shot. Oh, I'm sorry though. Yes, of course. I'm going to bed. Alright. You can break down what you just saw. That's gonna be the biggest movie of all time. Of without, all time? W without question. Without question. What, what was going through your mind as you were as you were watching that play out? I can't even like. It's over like it's overwhelming to talk about it. Yeah. Cause it all just kind of hit you at once. What what's happening in this movie? I'm still processing. <laughs> yeah. I'm still processing. Yeah. Uh, What's some of that like? If you could process some of that externally, like what's going through your mind as you're thinking about the fact that they made this movie a reality? It's a dream come true. Yeah, I've always wanted to see Toby and Andrew come back, especially Andrew. I mean, Toby like raised me as a kid. I, I grew up watching those movies. Um, yeah, Toby. I know Toby like a, a damn father. Wow. Um, Andrew, my favorite Spider-Man, got them dirty. Amazing Spider-Man Two. Should have gotten more movies. Now he's back. And they're interacting like they're interacting all together i heard there's like they're gonna be in quite a bit of this movie it's not just like a quick i hope so thing. i hope so. the more they're in the movie the better it will be in my opinion i just want to see toby and andrew wow and to bring back all the villains too like all the, yeah all the villains what and, 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 <laughs> the best best spider-man movie ever like seeing toby reunite with his villains like doc ock or green goblin Seeing Andrew reunite with his villains, Electro, um, Lizard. There's so many moments. Yeah, I feel like there's so many moments. Then seeing them like with Tom, like all three Spideys together. Yeah, it's gonna be so nuts. And one, one, one more scene I want to show you that I think will be insane. To see which 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 one finds oh, again there's that uh, YouTube ad again but yeah one more one more moment from this movie but it's pretty crazy what's happening when does it come up Christmas Christmas fuck me <laughs> <laughs> it's you know I can't wait till Christmas I actually can't wait till Christmas it's 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 yeah man it's gonna be so insane I right, let me just make sure this is the right uh, The right one. I want, I want to make sure I'm showing you the. This is going to be the greatest one of all time. The proper clip. No, that, that clip wasn't it. But yeah, man, this this is going to be so. Actually, if I do this clip, I should be able to fast forward here. But greatest movie of all time. Greatest movie, movie of all time. Without question. Damn. Toby and Andrew, Tom McGuire and Andrew Garfield are coming back. That is bigger than anything Marvel has ever done, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Three generations of Spider Man fans coming together. Got Tom, Toby, Andrew. The villains too. <sighs> this is a love letter to Spider-Man fans. It it literally is like man, we're showing like, like, like I dreamed about this movie. You dreamed about it when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, no, not that. Uh, okay, 
Yeah, I think if we show just this clip, it should, should work. I was buffering as I went to the middle clip. But yeah, you dreamed about this movie. You dreamed it was... My entire life, yeah. Seeing to, like all three Spider-Men. We've always wanted to see that. I'll show you this quick clip here. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> All three of them swinging together at the same time. I mean, just that one moment too, the fact that they are all swinging together, teaming up against all these Toby, villains. Andrew, Tom, literally all just together in one movie on the same screen, in really, the same universe. I can't really comprehend. <laughs> well, I just watched. But yeah, I'm sure you're still like processing what's going on. Yeah. In your mind. Yeah, just a bit. Wow. So what would you say to people that are watching this, like, go go see the movie, obviously, but what other thoughts do you have for fans? This is going to be one of the greatest films of all time. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. Seeing Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, all assemble on the big screen, all of their buildings coming back. Yeah, like, the audience experience, like seeing this with an audience is going to be insane. Yeah, I can only imagine. Um, yeah, yeah, seeing it with an audience, like, that's what, that's why I want to watch it, with an audience, Jack Back Theater, that's the only way to experience a movie like this, um, Christmas, you said Christmas? Yeah, Christmas. Um, yeah, go watch Spider-Man No Way Home in theaters this Christmas. <laughs> Man, it's so, it's so, it's so exciting, but I have one more, one more little kind of spoiler, what if I told you that the movie came out last Christmas? And it's been out for five months, four months. Then I want to go watch it. <laughs> it's already it's already out. Yeah, yeah you can actually already go yeah. see it. Let's go watch it. I'll watch it. Sounds good. Before before we do go watch it though, I just want to have you just sleep all the way back down that amazing state of relaxation. Just sleep, man, all the way down. That's right. Sleep, letting go. Sleep even deeper. Sleep all the way down, man. Next time you open your eyes. Still forgetting all of No Way Home. However, next time you open your eyes, when you hear me say the words with great power come great responsibility, then all of the memories of No Way Home, that you've seen it, all the times you watch the trailer, the reactions, the events you've literally hosted to bring people together to watch this movie, all come back. Not yet. Still completely forgetting it. You still remember those moments that you saw on the clips in these videos. But when I say, next time you open your eyes, when I say the words with great power come great responsibility, in that moment, all of those memories come back and you realize that you've seen this movie many times, the trailer many times, and all of this starts to make sense as it would in the real world. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake, eyes open, feeling great. All right, so this movie, yeah, is actually, I don't know, are you ready to go see it? Uh, no way home? Yeah, no way home. Yeah, let's go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> right, yeah. So it came out la last Christmas, but before we like jump in, like we can go head out right now to see the movie, but what do you think? Like before, just a quick 30 seconds, thoughts going into this movie, excited to see the villains, Toby and Andrew, like yeah. we saw those clips. Yeah, yeah, seeing Toby, Andrew, Tom, that for me is just going to be so special. Um, I want to see as much of them as possible. Of course. Seeing yeah. the villains, seeing, I, I want to see Tom suffer real consequences. Um, because I feel like that'll shape him into being a better Spider-Man moving wow. forward. What kind of consequences do you think? Um, deaths. People gotta die. Oh man, sorry. People gotta die. Or this is the third movie. People gotta die. Like who? Do you, like MJ? Um, like who do you think? Someone close to him. Yeah, Happy, Aunt May, man, MJ, that one of them. Just all of them. Just they just <laughs> all is this world just is gone. Yeah, man. Gosh. Well, I mean. I think we just we just gotta gotta go see this movie, right? But you know, you know what they say as they as they do, and this movie is 
in theaters and there's the opportunity for people to see a movie at this scale in this caliber, I think there's only only one thing to be said, right? Let's call it great power. Comes great responsibility. What are you feeling? I can't put it towards what I just experienced. I felt like, I felt like Moon Knight. <laughs> I felt like Moon Knight, two different realities. Yeah. Yeah, it literally felt like, like I wasn't, like, conscious of, like, what I was experiencing. And that's why I was able to like, experience it for the first time again. Yeah. Do you really feel like you were reacting to that for the first time? Like it seemed like you were getting pretty emotional, excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like it felt like I was, it felt like I had another personality wow. and they were the ones experiencing it for the first time. And like, now it just all hit me. Yeah. Wow. I like smashed the memories back. And now they just come back. Yeah. yeah. What do you think piecing those two different experiences together back to one reality? Um, it's incredible. Like I'm like reliving every part of that journey of getting to that movie, watching the movie at the premiere. Um, and you literally hosted an event. Hosted, right? hosted an event for it. Yeah. yeah. It just like, Oh, it hit me. It was, yeah. Everything at once. And it all just came back, yeah. Mm -hmm. And before, when you were seeing those trailers for the first time, yeah. what, what was happening when you were, like, was there any recollection or was it kind of vaguely familiar or was it just it felt all like, new? It felt like those triggers were, like, taking me, like, I was experiencing something I hadn't experienced before. Like, I was, like, going down a path that I've never been on, even though I've been on it. Yeah. It's weird. So when you were watching it, was there a feeling of like, oh, I've seen this somewhere before? Or was it all like, you didn't even know it was coming and it was all just... Amazing? Yeah, yeah, like, it was just a lot to process. Yeah. It was a lot to process. But like, I felt like with every single second that passed, I didn't know what was going to happen next. Yeah. And it's weird because like... Because uh, obviously you would, but... Yeah. In this instance. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that's the classic Doctor Strange forgetting spell. You that's the Doctor Strange. Spell. That's the Doctor Strange forgetting spell for real, for real. Man, that is powerful. It's pretty cool. All that right, it's powerful. Cool. Last time, what we'll do is I'll have you take a deep breath in, breathe out, and sleep all the way back down. That amazing state of relaxation, Matt, feeling amazing and incredible in every single way. That's right. Matt, in a moment, I'm going to count up from 1 to 5. Each number I count up from 1 to 5, less relaxed, less hypnotized, fully and completely releasing yourself from the hypnotized state when I reach that number 5. But with each number I count up, not only are you bringing yourself back out of this hypnotized state, but you're allowing yourself to feel more full of confidence, full of energy, full of life, feeling completely 100% full of authenticity of who you are and your mission and your purpose on this world, starting with 1, gathering up all of that amazing confidence and positive energy into two beginning to feel less, less relaxed less hypnotized into three that's right feeling that full awareness coming back to you now completely back into your one normal reality into four full of confidence positivity energy and life as you get ready to release yourself in this hypnotized state preparing to open your eyes now at the final number five wide awake how you feeling feeling great <laughs> feeling good feeling positive yeah, yeah. What was that whole hypnosis experience for you like? Um, yeah, the best way I can describe it is that like, you took my, almost like, it felt like, it felt like Doctor Strange. Like you really like knocked me out of my body. Oh, like knocked <laughs> you completely out of your body. Yeah. And like, again, like I was stuck at moments. I just fell asleep on command. Like what? Yeah, and you know you weren't fully asleep because you could always still hear me. And yeah, but it's like my body just fell. Like it just... I don't know if, like, I felt like there was, like, it felt like a release. Like, I just, yeah. 
it's a release from the everyday, always conscious, always yeah. overanalyzing. Like, over I, 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 like my body felt heavy. And like when you snapped and like put me to sleep, like it was just like, I didn't feel that way anymore. Yeah. It was this experience of letting go. Yeah. It's like when we all fall asleep at night, we allow ourselves to like drop into that state and let go. And that's why our body feels heavy and almost even like paralyzed when we're actually asleep. We have yeah. ourselves to get there. Yeah. Fun experience though? That was a great experience. Yeah. 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 And what, what, would you, what would you say to anybody watching this video who's kind of unconvinced and he was like, yeah, you were just going along with it and pretending and it wasn't really... I mean, like, you can say that, but until you experience it, like, I've always been someone who's like, I'm like, I, I've always had that mentality, like, you know, that's that's a little, you know, when it comes to hypnosis, that's a little too far fetched. Yeah, yeah. But like, once you experience it, you have to experience it. That's that's all. I, that's all I can well, say. It's like with a movie, right? You can hate on the movie and leave comments on the internet, but until you've fully seen the movie for yourself, you know. Exactly. That's the way it goes. Yes.